Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Well, the first part of our cool down occurring today, temperatures going from the 80s into the 60s, at least that's what I thought, 69 degrees, my three degree guarantee for the day today. It actually did hit 72 officially in Boise. So we went from uh, 80, mid 80s to 72 uh, for the day today. Tomorrow, we could go down to 61. That's my three degree guarantee for the day tomorrow. Some chilly weather coming in. And you look at the national high temperature map, oranges all across, even up to southern uh, North Dakota, 84 degrees. Looks like Bismarck here. But look at the Northwest, Seattle, 55, Portland 59. Those are the high temperatures. That cool weather is ushering in. It will be coldest in northern Idaho, but we're getting our share of a cool down with 72 for the high today. Still 102 in Vegas and 108 in Phoenix today. The heat's still building, and that heat's going to push to the east for the holiday weekend, while the cooler than normal weather will be across the west, at least for at least the first part of the holiday weekend. 61 Ontario, 65 Boise, 65 Mountain Home. Most of our showers are pushing to the east of the Treasure Valley and dry weather's coming in. The West Central Mountains are still getting some of those showers into the valley. Some pretty gusty winds coming through when you get east of Ontario into Canyon County. Starts to pick up Boise, Mountain Home, some strong northwesterly winds, which will subside a little bit overnight tonight, but then pick up again. In fact, it just may stay a little bit breezy overnight tonight. And the rain's not over yet. Not an eagle. Some light rain falling, light to moderate rain. It's one of those downpours coming in right here north and west of Eagle. And right over downtown Boise, a rain shower here. Meridian's got a rain shower. These are tracking slow to the east, up around Lucky Peak, we'll likely see some of that rain pushing on through. But that may be the last one for overnight, and I think we're going to dry on out. While the West Central Mountains, rain showers have been going a lot this evening. Up around Cascade, again, uh, Crouch Garden Valley may start to see an end to this rain coming through. A little hail there, just south of Cambridge, up towards uh, maybe even Cascade, getting a little pea-sized hail. But again, most of these showers will end, except tomorrow the mountains, we're going to continue to see that chance for showers here in northeast Oregon and central Idaho. But in the valley, I think we're going to have a dry day tomorrow's dry weather moves in but dry chilly weather coming in this jet stream roaring on through should help to keep the frost away overnight tonight stirring the air up just a little bit so we should be in good shape staying above freezing but it's going to get close in some areas this storm system right here that's the problem it's going to track towards us. it's going to dive towards northern california on the way down it'll throw some showers at us thursday and friday and then it'll go to the south and as it comes back up on saturday that's the big question mark it'll go up through idaho it could bring more showers and thunderstorms around during the day on Saturday. So we're going to watch that closely for you. Dry weather coming in tomorrow. Overnight tonight, you see the dry weather during the day tomorrow. This is the morning. Partly cloudy skies during the afternoon. Again, I just see some clouds and sun, the mountains, some showers. Maybe a few showers kind of going through during the afternoon, but really not much to it. The bottom line is the latter part of the week. Look at this deep area of cool weather plunging down across the northwest while the heat moves across to the east. And so it looks like the East will be getting the benefits of the warm, summery weekend for the first unofficial start of summer. Look at this. Temperatures in the low 60s tomorrow and a good breeze blowing, probably stronger than it was today much of the day. So a chilly day coming up tomorrow. West Central Mountains, real chilly with some scattered showers popping up. Snow showers at 6,000 feet. Maybe Brundage Mountain could get an inch of snow. Only 52 in Cascade. Idaho City checks in at 56. And Stanley will probably see snow showers off and on through the day. A higher peaks of the the sawtooths, the white clouds will likely see snow showers. Fairfield will get some rain showers. And look at this. After being 94 yesterday in Twin Falls, 58 in Gooding tomorrow with a howling wind out of the west. My precision extended forecast, a better threat for showers on Thursday and Friday and Saturday in the Treasure Valley. I'm going to get a new update on that uh, Thursday, the uh, Saturday forecast. But we should be drying out on Sunday and Monday. But boy, I got to tell you, if that system hangs around, Sunday stays showery. That may be the case in the mountains. Mountains. But once it goes away and you take that rain away, the temperature pops right back up into the 70s. Today was not bad. No, it was nice out, but I did not expect to hear about snow tonight. In the mountains. In the mountains. It's amazing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Wow. All right. Scott, thanks very much. Well, the